No Country for Old Men is a story about a thief and his family, a hired assassin and a sheriff. The film's story f- gradually follows Anton, the assassin, throughout his journey to track down Llewellyn, a man that stumbled upon a bag full of money. The film does not feel like a conventional western as it has themes of thriller, action and crime. The scene opens with a wide-angle shot which is paying homage to the old Texan films and the mountainous terrain. This represents the vast amount of space and isolation of those that inhabit the area. The leading lines along the highway are symbolic of the long journey ahead. In centre frame, the Texaco sign draws our eyes towards the vast and gloomy horizon, suggesting that the journey may not be a pleasant one. The high panning angle shows that a dominant force is approaching and suggests the insignificance of the gas station and of those that are within it. The scene within the gas station begins with with a medium angled shot of the proprietor, standing within a frame of a frame being the window. The farmscape and the tractor behind him suggest that he is a humble and hard working man, however the harmonious nature of this shot is invaded when Anton, the protagonist, steps into his world. The towering Anton in his dark attire is completely out of place within the friendly store interior. Anton closing in blocks out the beaming sun and completely covers the exit within the frame, trapping the clerk. The tension builds as the proprietor innocently observes his number plate and casually comments on the weather in Dallas. Disturbed by the eagerness of the proprietor to penetrate his anonymity, we see Anton's harmonious posture become eerily confrontational and malicious. Anton's perspective is shown immediately by the camera filming an over-the-shoulder angle from Anton towards the proprietor. The -the over-the-shoulder angle represents a classic Hollywood confrontation. As soon as the proprietor approaches Anton with a question, even though only insignificantly about the weather, the camera angle is shown from over the shoulder of the proprietor. This tells us that Anton sees his response as reciprocating confrontation. This begins the next scene of events. There are many aspects of the set decoration that suggest to us that the scene is going to end badly for the proprietor. As the conflict becomes more apparent, we become increasingly more aware of the rubber belts hanging around the store clerk's head, their similarity to nooses and how they could potentially link to the fate of the store clerk. Anton's decision to kill the proprietor is further eluded through the set decoration of the gas station. The numerous tire chains hovering above the proprietor's head symbolises that of a noose. Furthermore, the window behind the proprietor is subtly resemblant of a cross, which could be symbolic of Anton's tendency to play God and the proprietor being his sacrifice. The scene draws to an end following the coin toss, which Anton has decided will determine the fate of the store clerk. His willingness to gamble the fate of another man's life is symbolic of his complete disregard for human life.